calling the set exception handler function passing over a name of a function we will get the named function to be invoked each time an error happens and is not handled. Here in this code sample we throw an exception and there isn't any try and catch that handled the new exception and therefore the result is an execution of this method. Let's give it a try. As you can see, we get the output before. We don't get the output after because of the exception thrown in line 12 and because there isn't any handling for this exception, this function is invoked.